All right. The poll says what the poll says. We're doing the sequel now. So it said last time we did the uh, the first one. So Hellboy 2, The Golden Army, is a sequel to the first movie. It came out four years afterwards. And you know who the suit stars in. You know, Ron Perlman, Selma Blair, Doug Jones as the, uh, Abe Sabian. And you got uh, new characters. You got Jeffy Tambor Returns. And this one, like I said, I, I said this one's better than the original one because this is, has like a better character development towards it, better story, you know, the new characters I enjoy, you know, the characters a lot better. Like I said, the character development is a lot better in this film. And this is all about, like I said, the title says it all right there, the Golden Army. And the movie starts off where, you know... Hellboy's dad is telling him a story, and Hellboy was like a kid or something like that, telling him the story about the Golden Army, you know, about the uh, the father had this, this golden thing that makes the army come alive and, you know, fight against everyone else and shit. Like he has his son and daughter who, you know, if, if the daughter dies, the son dies, or the son dies, the daughter dies. That's how, you know, blood siblings that they are, you know. And one of them is played by, what was his fucking name? He was from Blade 2, because, you know, Guillermo del Toro did Blade 2. So he's back here, he's playing, he played another villain. It was like, did in Blade 2, he played a villain there. And this time he plays fucking... Wait, I forgot what was his fucking name again? Oh, shit. Hang on. I keep forgetting his fucking name, this man. My mistake. His name is, uh, Luke Goss. Luke Goss, he returned, he plays the prince. It's like the last time he played a villain. And he comes back again to play a villain once again. Because in Blade 2, he played a guy named... I forgot what his fucking name is. He played, he played a villain there, too. So he, he came back. And... He did a pretty good job playing the main villain, the prince. And, you know, the princess, some other chick. I don't know who the fuck she is, though. Some actor that nobody really knows. Only because only this movie, that's it. And she does a good job, also. Yeah, I really, I really enjoy the story here of this movie. Especially Ron Perlman, he does like a, he does a way better job here than the first movie because Gilmore, Gilmore del Toro, he didn't really have Hellboy in his head while writing the first movie because I think most of the time he had Blade still stuck in his head. Blade Two, he saw that stuck in his head more than doing Hellboy. The thing is, like I said, he should just did Blade Trinity. But the thing is, the company won't want him to do one or the other, so he had to choose this. But the Golden Army film is a lot better than the fucking first movie, I'll tell you right now. Better care development, better story, better characters. And, you know, it all starts off where, you know, fucking... What was it? Let me see what it was about. Oh, yeah, like I said, talk about the Golden Army and shit. And fucking, uh... I'm trying to remember real quick. My brain ain't fucking working. Okay, now I remember. So the prince returns after so many years. He returns, you know, he goes looking for his, his stuff, you know, to, to start the Golden Army. He goes to the museum. He starts shit with his big ass monster buddy. You know, killing people and shit. Taking things back. You know, then he cuts to fucking uh, Abe and uh, the other fucking guy. I just say this fucking name too. Abe and a uh, fucking Jeffrey Tambor. They're like talking to each other. And Jeffrey Tambor is like, I don't know why, I don't know why Hellboy hates me so much. Uh, like he was saying, tell him that and stuff like that. You know the reason why, Jeffrey. You know the reason why he's gonna like you. Boy, you always know the hell out of him. Get it? Know the hell out of him, huh? Yeah, I know that shit's stupid. But yeah, he always knows the shit out of him. So I see why he can't stand Jeffrey Tambor's character. You know, he's talking to him and stuff like that. Well, Hellboy goes to issues with his girlfriend, which he doesn't know if she's pregnant until, like, at the end of the movie. He doesn't know yet. You know, she was going through her issues, stuff like that, scaring the cats. You know, or a fire. And her fire is a lot different from the first movie. In the first movie, her fire is blue. But here, it's, it's, it's more uh, regular fire, like re the real original fire look. If that makes any sense. The original one, she had blue fire. Here is red fire. So, they switched it up. 
The thing is, still, I feel like she has still don't know how to control her powers because, like, later on in the film, uh, some of Blair's character, Liz, is just. I, I, I don't get it. She has the ability to shoot fire, but the only, thing, only way she shoots fire is she, she explodes. That's, that's all she does. She's like the first movie. She's like, you guys better run. That's all she does. Like, are you kidding me? Some of Blair's character should be, like, way more cooler than that. Like, she should be shooting, like, fire out of her hands. Like, ah, uh, uh, you know, shoot out of her fucking hands and shit. You know, like that. But she doesn't do nothing like that. All, the only time she can actually use her power is she explodes. You know, that that's it. Like what kind of what kind of fucking character is that? She'll just she don't shoot fire out of her hands like a like the Human Torch and shit. Like what kind of fucking bullshit is that? But you know later on, you know, uh, fucking Hellboy, Liz, and Abe Sabian, you know, go on your your next uh, uh, next job again, deal with these uh, these weird blue fairy things, you know, killing eating all the agents and stuff at the uh, this abandoned place. And she decided she's gonna use her powers again, you know, to blow these uh, fairies up. What she does for uh, her f fire, she said, "You better run!" And she like blows them away and shit. Still, like that—that's all she does. She she just it explodes in fire. That's it. Like you don't see her do anything else with her powers. You you don't see her shoot fire out of her hands. Like what the fuck is that? The only thing she uses in this, in this movie is a gun, a normal gun. But she has the, she has the power of fire. But she only uses a gun. Like, what the fuck is Guillermo del Toro doing with, with, with the character? Like, like by now, Liz should have the ability to control her powers a lot better. You know, like, she'd be, she should easily know how to use her powers better now. Like, she should know how to use it now. Like, it makes no sense. It's been like, this is the second movie. She should know how to use her fucking abilities now. Like, it makes no sense. She should have the power to shoot fire out of her fucking hands. Like, what the fuck is going on in this film? Like, all she can use is a regular gun? Like, are you fucking kidding me? She has a power of fire. It's all she can use is a gun. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Especially you got fucking Abe. He don't do fucking do anything. He's just a, a walking, talking fish. Just walks around. Acting like a fucking uh, a fish version of C-3PO. I, I bet you... I'm fucking serious. He is. He basically is C-3PO in this movie. He does nothing else besides, you know... I mean, yeah, he's a really smart fucking fish. You know, he knows a lot of shit. You know, he reads, reads his fucking book and what all these, these animals are and shit. But he's basically he's basically C-3PO. Like I said, I, I don't mind Abe Sapien, but the thing is, he don't really do anything besides, you know, just read out of a fucking book. And yeah, he is smart, but he's not, like, a really smart... Not, not fucking scratch that. He is, he is really smart. It's just that he don't really do that much. So I use a fucking gun. Like I, I don't get it. Liz and fucking Abe, I, I, I don't get it. Especially Liz, she has the power of fire, and she don't, she barely uses her fire in this movie. Only to scare people or, or explode. That's it. It's it's stupid. It's fucking stupid. Like Guillermo del Toro, I don't know how 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 he's doing with Liz. Even Hellboy, it's like he only. I don't think he's doing anything to do with Hellboy well either. The fight scenes is just. I mean, the fight scenes is a lot better than the fucking first boy. I'll tell you that. But here is still like, eh, still. Yeah, there there are funny scenes in here. I really enjoy too. You know, like the time you know Hellboy's being up the. The uh, alien disguises a grandma and shit, or I mean, I mean, monster disguises a uh, grandma. I love the part he beat the shit out of her. That shit was funny as fuck. And like, I, I don't know, like, I should have been like a lot better action here. Still, like, I still enjoyed the film. I thought it was a pretty funny ass film, but I don't know. Is this the action? Still seems like it should have been a lot better done. This still, this is still better than the fucking first movie. I really enjoyed this film, but this movie does have a lot of issues. We can't ignore that. Liz still can't know how to control her powers. Still, well, I mean, she don't have control. It's that she don't use it the, the right way. She don't, the only way she can use her powers is to explode on people, explode her fire on people. That's it. That's all else she does. She honestly shoots fire in her fucking hands. What kind, of, what kind of fucking character is that? She don't shoot fire in her fucking hands. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm still on that topic. It's just that it doesn't make any sense. Del Toro, what the hell he's doing with Liz? <sighs> Anyways, fucking uh, what's next? Um, 
Oh yeah, so once again, Hellboy. Well, before that, fucking uh, Jeffy Tambor is talking to Hellboy about that he can't be, you know, out there exposing himself like that anymore. He gotta be more, you know, more stealth about himself in public and stuff like that. And he was he decided, you know, to bribe Hellboy with uh, c- cigars, you know, Cuban cigars, and. Hellboy still exposes himself because you know Liz blows him out of the uh, the house, uh, the fire, when when they're uh, investigating that place, all those those blue fairy things. He gets blown out of the house, and all the people all the people saw him again. And we, like I mean, still it's not really his fault to be fair. It, it's like how how he wants to get rid of, get rid of those fucking. You know what? Maybe it's his fault to be fair. He could have just hid somewhere. To be fair. But he got he got blown out of the house, and he get, gets exposed. He he started talking to the uh, the news people and stuff like that. He started laughing at himself on TV because it's really funny to him. He's like, ha 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 ha! I'm on the news. Look at that. Ha, ha. And uh, oh yeah, before that, fucking uh, Abe find, finds out that Liz is pregnant because he he put her he put his fins on her belly. He's like, oh, you're pregnant. So he and fucking t- she told him to shut up and not tell Hellboy about it. And yeah. And fucking uh, Jeffy Tambor comes by to uh, Hellboy's uh, hangout and tells uh, Hellboy, what have you done? And he was like, what are you talking about? And the thing is, because they're going to bring somebody down there now because to keep an eye on Hellboy now. And they all gather around while, you know, this new guy comes down. And I really like this character. Which, he is voiced by Seth MacFarlane. Which, I didn't know that until I looked it up this year. I looked it up, I was like, this whole time, I didn't know that Seth MacFarlane voices this character. And I should have realized that because he does sound exactly like Seth MacFarlane. I was like, is that Seth MacFarlane? Like, because he voiced a a fish named uh, Klaus from uh, American Dad. So I was like... It has to be him, so now I know. And he voices this character named Joanne Krause, who this fucking ectoplasmic guy who's in this fishbowl helmet suit uh, machine thing. And his his abilities, he, he he can get inside things, you know, control it, stuff like that. He's like a, like a real big genius, and he he knew Hellboy's dad, and hell, that bothers Hellboy when he said things about his father because you know his dad died in the first movie. Stuff like that. Him and Hellboy get in the beef with each other at the, at the locker room. And fucking uh, Krauss whoops the shit out of him after Hellboy punched his helmet and broke his suit. And the fucking out the plasmic thing came out of it. The, the, the fucking ghost shit came, came out of the fucking suit. It started beating uh, Hellboy's ass, it's controlling the lockers, slapping him in the face. And all, all his beer came out of his can, Hellboy's can. It's like. <laughs> That shit was funny as fuck. That's what that's what my my favorite scenes in the movie. That shit was funny. Him get a, get a beef with, uh, with Kraus. That shit was funny. Get a fight with him. I mean, besides that, the other scene was funny where uh where Hellboy and Abe getting drunk, <laughs> drinking down about these uh, drinking out booze and shit, singing. That shit was funny as hell too. Those were some funny ass scenes. Besides them going in that uh. Going to that, uh, what's that called? That fucking, that place, all these uh, ugly ass a- monsters and shit, and fucking getting a fight with them. You know, Hell- Hellboy punching the shit out of the, the fucking uh, the couple or something like that, slapping that le- alien lady around, like, shoo, 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 like slap the fuck out of that alien lady. <laughs> He's like, tell me where it is. Just slapping the fuck out of it. That shit was funny. Just going out beating people up in that, that monster world and shit. It was funny as hell. But uh, yeah, other shit like the prince, he like gets in fight with uh, his father and the uh, those other uh, army guys and shit like that. And you know, he, he easily stabs his dad, and he kills him, he takes the, the golden thing, sort for the for the golden army crown, and he goes out looking for for the shit get from his sister but his sister ran away he was like where the fuck is my sister she ran away with the, the golden thing in her fucking uh, her stomach she just ran away 
and sh she was in that that monster place, and fucking uh, Abe runs into her and follows her into the uh, place looking for her. Hey, do you see this this strange lady walking in here? I don't know what you're talking about. She she's uh instead talking to him anyways and like what what's that bothering me? And fucking Abe has a crush on her and stuff like that. He want to I want to smash. I don't think she wants to smash a fish guy. Do the fish even have dicks? I mean, they have fish sticks. Huh? Ah, yeah, no, not a bad joke, right? <laughs> ah, shit. But anyways. Uh, fuck, I don't know why I said fish sticks. <laughs> fish dicks. So, sorry. Anyways. So, fucking, uh, it, Abe was fucking, like, talking to her and shit. And that big-ass monster, you know, which, you know, the prince sent out to go fucking find her. His big ass fucking spike ball, right up bash my face in. You know he he finds Abe and, and the princess, and fucking Hellboy comes to stop him, stop him, and he got his, got his cigar and shotgun, and fucking the monster bashes him in the face and messes his cigar up. Hellboy's even pissed off now, so he, now he's ready to whoop his ass, and his uh. The monster spike ball gets stuck in the uh, the crush crush machine, and Hellboy like to touch his uh, his chain thing attached to the uh, ball. He's like, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, you're fucked. So he goes right into the thing. He gets crushed by the machine, and the prince finds out when, when his boys tell him that he, he got killed. He was pissed off, and he goes there. He finds you know Hellboy and the gang, and he was like pissed off. He killed his, his buddy. His, uh, his fucking spike ball buddy. So now he's he uh, he plants this plant monster and start attacking the city. Hellboy got whoop his ass while he saves the baby and stuff like that. And the whole the whole town's pissed off at him, call him a freak. And that brings back uh, Liz's uh, past, and she gets mad and turns into fire. And they walked away. Oh, but before uh, it makes no sense. Before uh, the, the 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 audience. Uh, the people loved Hellboy. Then all of a sudden, now they like they hate him, even though he, he saved their fucking asses from a giant ass fucking plant monster. But what what the fuck ever? People are people are assholes. So yeah, that happened, and fucking they bring the princess home, and to stay over, and like I think I think Liz got pissed off with Hellboy, and Hellboy. Drink out his booze at the locker. Like I said, he gets a fight with uh with, with Kraus. He gets a fight with him because he can't stand Kraus. And again, that, that shit, that shit, that's funny as fuck. The, the, the beef he has with Kraus in the locker room. That shit was funny. Uh, that shit was funny as fuck. Especially when he fucking part when he punches him in the face, puts Kraus in the face, and just fucking breaks his fucking glass fishbowl hell of it. Like boom! Like that shit was awesome. Like he's tired as shit. Because he'll tell him that your anger is causing the problem. Was he was right, you know, Kraus. You know, you gotta control your anger. Your anger is the problem, Hellboy. Yeah, afterwards, after he whooped fucking uh, Hellboy's ass, he goes back to his like his regular go ghost form, and like he's like a uh, he started walking around and like leaves. Like that's your problem. That's your anger problem. He like walks away. Do 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 do. Like that shit was funny as hell too. Like, like his ghost form. So then later, like I said, fucking uh, Hellboy and Abe gets get wasted and they start singing with each other and stuff like that. Then the brother shows up. He figure out where they're at because you know, blood si blood siblings, I guess. He kills the guards. He gets in and gets in at a beef with drunk Hellboy. And you know, drunk Hellboy's like a. Beat fucking the, the, the prince do in the fight because he's drunk, and he gets stabbed in the heart. Well, not not well, nearly stabbed in the heart. He only, he only, he almost got fucking killed. And you know, the, the thing's stuck inside of him in his chest, and they can't get it out. Every time they try to try to get it out, it gets worse. It goes slightly more close to his heart. So now they they gotta go fucking travel to this uh, other place to meet with uh, with this. Uh, person, not person, this, uh, I forgot, this thing that, uh, has the power to, to do anything and stuff like that, but he talked to this wheelchair, the monster thing, but he to, to do a trade 
or something. He was like, I want that thing stuck inside Hellboy. It was like, all right, but we, you got to get it out. He's like, I think I know somebody to get it out. So he meets this big, giant, freakish monster thing who can, has the power to magically take it out of Hellboy without any pain, which he does. He takes it out of him because, you know, Liz grant him, grant him something, and he got it out of him, and the thing gives uh, that wheelchair monster thing, the, uh, the spike st thing, stabber thing, give to him, and he, like, he bites on it. Wow, nice and sharp. So now Hellboy's fine now. That that they gotta go face the, uh, the the fucking prince dude with with his golden army. Fucking uh, Kraus gets inside the thing. He controls it. He starts whooping their ass. Like, that, that that's cool. I, I, that's why I really like Kraus. He can like control people's bodies if he wanted to. That's why I really like Kraus. So those two work together to take him out. Well, fucking Liz just shoots with a gun. You know she can use she can use fire powers, but whatever. This is uh, Guillermo del Toro's uh, mistake. So I understand she has the power to use her, use fire, but she uses a gun. It, it's not, it, it makes no sense. It's like she, she it's like he didn't really care about Liz. Fucking Abe don't really do anything either. He's just some, he's just a f fucking uh, walking fish. He's a walking fucking fish. Just walks around and acts like C-3PO, which he is C-3PO basically. Like he, he even talks like C-3PO. Oh yes, <laughs> like come on, how, how does this guy not C-3PO? He basically C-3PO. Both of them don't do anything. They will do nothing besides fucking A. He, he knows a lot of shit, but he just reads out of a book. But yeah, fucking like Hellboy and fucking. Uh, Kraus the only one that actually did anything. Well, fucking, I, I, I don't get Liz. Like, she should have the power to shoot flames at her hand, like the human torch or something. You know, flame on. But she don't know how to do it for some reason. I don't get it. Like I said, the writing was just bad on Liz for some reason. Like, once again. Well, I mean, the first one is, is tolerable. It's understandable. The second one, she should know how to use her powers now. So that, that's, that's Del Toro's fault on that one. So, if, so the thing is, in, after they took out all the Golden Army, they, they rebuild itself because it's the Golden Army. It's immortal. Oh, the thing is, fucking, uh, well, a a Abe, like, like, gave fucking, uh, the prince dude the thing because he didn't want his girlfriend getting killed or something like that, the princess. Like, like what the fuck are you doing, dude? That's not gonna, really, it's not gonna break a girl back. Because the thing is, she she stabs herself anyways because she take out her brother, take out her crazy ass brother. So, like I said, because they're both like blood siblings. So they, if he dies, she dies. You know, and that that was it. Then you know the gang uh, quits the force, and uh, Jeffrey Tambor is upset about that, and uh, even even Kraus quits too. Uh, Hellboy, Abe, Liz, and the, the Kraus all they all quit. They all quit the force. They're all done with that shit. And he tells she tells Hellboy that she's having twins. He he said he thought it'd be one baby, but it's twins. It's a shame we never got a third one because I, I wonder what it'd be like after uh, th those guys quit the, uh, the the job. They quit their job. I, I kind of I'm curious what will happen. I think I think Jeffy Tibor would, would, would like came came back to like to, like to beg him to come back to the to the, the to the place back to the job. It's like, please come back. It's it's like the same around here. <laughs> he would probably would begged. <laughs> please come back to the the B B P R R D, please. It, it's so boring around here. <laughs> that shit would be funny as hell. The film received an Oscar nomination for Best Makeup. Wow, I don't know why I didn't win it for. That's weird. I wonder who won it. Well, it did one fucking Best Supporting Actor for Doug Jones. The why? What the fuck did Abe do during the whole, whole movie? <laughs> what did Abe do? Abe, Abe didn't do anything. Abe doesn't do anything. He's like the first one. He didn't do anything. He just walked and talked like C-3PO. He's useless. <laughs> he didn't do anything besides read out a book. What? What? He won an award for what? What did Doug Jones win an award for? Best Supporting Actor? He didn't do anything. Oh, he gets wasted with with, uh, with Hellboy. Yeah, he definitely did something. That makes no sense. But whatever, you know, whatever. 
I think at least fucking wait, did Selma Blair get it? I think at least Selma Blair should have got it. Not not Doug Jones as Abe. Hey, what the fuck did Abe do? Oh, he had love interest with the princess. Get the fuck out of here. Well, Ron Perlman won Best Actor, so that's cool. And, uh, the Chainsaw Awards. What the fuck's the Chainsaw Awards? Saturn Awards. They won Best Horror Film for Saturn Awards. Uh, let's see here. You know what? Fuck the awards shows. They suck. But anyways, fucking Abe. Like, Abe Sapien is useless. Fucking Liz it has potential to be a kick-ass lady in, in these movies, but she don't do anything. Besides, like I said, all she does is she, she explodes in fire. That's it. That's all she does. Like it's fucking that's the, that's the Toro's fault. He should have wrote her better. Like I I don't I don't get this guy. Like he's not really good at writing Hellboy movies. I mean the second one, yeah, he it's funny as hell. The action is decent, and I enjoy the characters, but it's still like something is off about this movie still. Just like just like the first one, but this is like way better than the first one. This is like way better written, you know. But I still feel like he doesn't know what he's doing with these these, these characters and story. Yeah, I, I just don't know. Besides, you know, the soundtrack music, because they got Danny Elfman to do the soundtrack music. Oh, geez, Danny Elfman. I never heard of that guy before. How many times they keep hiring Danny Elfman to do music? Danny Elfman this, Danny Elfman that. I mean, every time Danny Elfman, like, every time he used to be like, oh, it's Danny Elfman. <laughs> Can you find somebody to actually do music that's not Danny Elfman? I don't mind him. He's, he's in, he does every fucking movie soundtrack. It's always Danny Elfman. Oh, I got ideas. Get Danny Elfman. He's not doing anything. <laughs> sure, guy. I'll you, do your music for your movie. You fucking nerd. Like, the only music I like, like from the guy was Batman and Spider-Man. That's it. Those are superhero movies. <laughs> That's all he mostly known for doing superhero movies. Fucking that ass. Let's go get him. Danny fucking Elfman. Well, I guess that's it for this review. Yeah. This movie does have issues, but I like this movie. I thought it was a pretty good film. It's better than the fucking first one. First one was like boring and depressing. I mean, yeah, there's some things that are funny, but not that much. Like, the first one was okay. The second one was like a way better film. Like, better character development, uh, fucking... Like, I, I like the way uh, Selma Blair's character looked better in this in this movie rather than in the first movie. She looks Her character looks way better here. Like, I like her hair, you know, I like her uh, her outfit in here. It's, it's way better looking in the first movie. You know? But, like I said, her character was done wrong. She, she, Selma Blair's character deserved better. I think. She, cause she didn't really do anything besides use a gun and just explode, explode in fire. That's it. She should shoot fire at her hands or something like that. That would have been awesome. But once again, they just made her useless. I don't know why. She has fire abilities. How? how why, why would they make her useless? She should have did something. Ugh. <sighs> But uh, yeah, this was a pretty good film. You know, this does have a lot of issues. I really still enjoy this film.